Hi, Misha here, and this is a pre-eclipse video. And we're pretty much in the path of totality, and we will be out there. They'll be looking at the eclipse. We will all be shooting guns, and uh, I'm sure several cameras will be rolling. Of course, this is happening on April 8, 2024. But back on August 21st, 2017, we had a partial eclipse here in this region of Arkansas. And at that time, Jay and I took off work and did an eclipse day shoot. So I thought we would have a little retrospective and revisit the video we did there and, you know, look back and also reflect on, well, how much the world has changed in the past nearly seven years. So here's that old video, then we'll come back here to the black box to have some thoughts. Hi, this is Misha, and today, Jay and myself took the day off from work. It's August 21st, and we did an eclipse shoot. You're about to look at that. We just got back and are resting. It was still uh, hot and sweaty work today, but we decided to take advantage because it's a kind of a unique opportunity. So you're about to see us just uh, having fun and shooting guns that we wanted to shoot. No real order, rhyme, or reason. Just having fun and doing something a little unique during a unique event. So, hope you enjoy it. And um, we'll have more videos, of course, coming that are more the traditional style. But this is something just for fun that we wanted to do today. So, we hope you have fun watching it, too. We'll catch you next time. Go ahead. Good. Good. the AR. Yeah, all the way back, all the way forward. I used to how to do it. Right. I was trying to do it in like a bump fire. Yep. That was a fun day, if hot, because uh, newsflash, mid-late August at Arkansas, in the middle of a field, is hot. 
but it was worth doing. And again, time has moved on in oh so many ways, so I'm glad we did. I'm glad that's there. And hopefully this time will be much the same. I'll put this video up, and about the time you're watching it, we'll be recording the Eclipse video itself, and we'll put that up in a day or two after that, so going with it. The last time Arkansas had a true solar eclipse was back in the summer of 1918. To put that in perspective, World War I was running hot and heavy, and the U.S. had just really started getting involved in it and started doing major operations after training up in the winter. And the next full eclipse in Arkansas will be in the year 2045. And that'll be about the time we're all turning into cyborgs thanks to, uh, well, all the tech bros. <laughs> and possibly some of us might be living on Mars. Anyway, uh, 21 years. So these don't necessarily happen all that frequently. And I've heard a lot of people say, what's the big deal? The big deal is, this is something that humanity has been going through since the beginning of our species, the beginning of our society. And for me, that gives a connection to our past. And also, it's an excuse to hang out laugh, tell stories, have fun with friends and family. It's a good excuse for a party and to shoot some guns. So why would you not take advantage and celebrate that? Too so often in life these days, it's bad news and stress. This is something that at least for a moment, we can take our minds off of it and think about the bigger picture. Where we're at in Arkansas, it, the path is supposed to be about 115 miles and we're not quite in the center of that path but we're not far off so it's, a, it's a supposed to start here just before 12:30 central time and end right at about a quarter past three central time it's supposed to last just under two hours 40 minutes for us and depending on exactly where you're at in arkansas Totality is supposed to range from about two and a half minutes to just over four minutes. And where we're at, looking like about three minutes, maybe, uh, you know, about 3.50. But we'll see. Well, they'll see. Not so much me. But of course, totality is just the peak, the pinnacle of the eclipse. Like I said, the partial occlusion of the sun will last for, well over an, a movie's length of time. So, because the roads will be packed, what else do we have to do but shoot some guns and probably grill some hamburgers and hot dogs? So this is our pre-eclipse video. Looking forward to it. it, should be a lot of fun. And it'll be the first night we'll be staying overnight at the new cabin. It's not nearly done yet, but it is in the dry and it does have electricity, so it's also kind of an inaugural trip for that, and I think that's uh, very fitting. Historical day, fun day with people I care about. So what better way to start it off? I even thought about bringing in a bottle of champagne and having one of the women christen the cabin. We'll see. But with that said, yeah, stay tuned very soon for one of, I'm sure, many videos we will record during the eclipse. And uh, what are your plans? What are you going to do? Where do you live? I know it's covering anywhere between 13 and 15 states, depending on which website you look at. Pretty neat, from Texas all the way up to Maine, so a pretty good swath. In fact, it's, I think, the best eclipse we've had in North America, the USA, in a very long time. So, again, a great chance for everyone to kind of come together and share in something. So that's what I encourage. You know, use something like this to come together and maybe put some of the, frankly, petty, petty differences aside for once and just enjoy friends and family because so many things in life are far too fleeting and gone before you know it. So value those you love, spend time with your family and friends, and have a hell of a good time on April 8, 2024. So this is Misha, and on behalf of the whole crew, we will catch you very soon 
under the eclipse moon.